I have been married for nearly a decade. My partner and I have been in a relationship for a total of 15 years. We have two children, one who is six years old and another who is two years old. When our relationship first started, things were quite challenging. I had a problem with drinking and I realized that this issue stemmed from my difficult upbringing. You see, my mom had convinced me that my dad was a terrible person who didn't want me in his life. Therefore, I had always had resentment towards relationship, most especially romantic ones. As a result, my relationship with women were always troubled and I had frequently broke up with my wife during the initial phase of our relationship. This pattern continued for a few years until my dad reached out to me and we reconciled. I managed to establish a positive relationship with both my dad and stepmom and this played a crucial role in helping me overcome my drinking problem. I decided to quit drinking, fully commit to my wife and strive to become a better person. Eventually, we got married but the issues that had arisen at the beginning of our relationship continued to affect my wife. She often accuses me of struggling to connect with her emotionally or show empathy. She has suggested that we read relationship books and consider counseling to address these issues, but I have only made partial effort in that direction. Additionally, having a child has added its own sets of challenges. I recently started a new job, making our lives even more demanding. Despite these difficulties, I am deeply involved in our home life when I am not at work. I take care of household chores, cook meal, change diapers, and handle nighttime wake-ups. I have always been dedicated to putting in the effort required to support our family. My wife goes through periods of deep sadness, which the doctor diagnosed as depression. I work really hard, even leaving my job early and working late into the night to help with parenting so she can have a break. She starts seeing a psychiatrist and takes medication, which helps her feel better. Then she tells me she wants to have another child. I want that too, but we don't want to go back to how things were before. We decide that adopting a child is a safer way to expand our family. We go through with the adoption and for almost two years, I take on all the nighttime duties with the kids. I still work a full-time job and I am very involved in taking care of our family. During this time, my wife doesn't work because she wants to be there for the kids. Life moves forward and things are still challenging, but we think we might be doing okay and there's hope for the future. Then, about two months ago, my wife suddenly starts taking better care of herself. She starts wearing makeup, using perfumes, renting fashionable clothes, and even getting Botox. I encouraged her and she says it's to help her combat her depression. She begins going out with friends and I am happy to see her enjoy herself. I take on more responsibilities at home, but I am glad she's happy. However, one day, I catch her telling a lie. She says she's somewhere else, but I discovered she's actually at a bar. I don't mind if she's at a bar, but I wonder why she lied about it. So I start to investigate further and find hidden Snapchat accounts and secret emails. I discovered more lies, and eventually, I reach the point where I have to confront her about all of this. I started to believe that my wife might be cheating on me. When I confronted her about it, she became angry and told me that she had been exploring BDSM on her own. She had been visiting websites and forums to learn more about it, but she insists that it was not sexual and that she was doing it for self-discovery. She hadn't felt comfortable sharing this with me because of our past and feared that I might judge her. In response, I hugged her, reassured her of my love, and told her that I accepted her for who she was. I also expressed my willingness to be a part of this new aspect of her life. However, she told me that she wasn't ready for that and needed some space. Over the following weeks, she started becoming more secretive. We stopped sharing emails and she wouldn't let me use her phone. She insisted that I should never look at her credit card bill. She accused me of smothering her and having control issues. Feeling suspicious, I decided to investigate further. I placed a tape recorder in the car she used when going out at night. To my shock, 
I recorded her in the car with another man. They were expressing love for each other, making out and saying various things. We were attending marriage counseling and I confronted her with this evidence. Initially, she tried to blame me, but eventually she apologized and explained that it was an emotional connection with no physical intimacy beyond kissing. She assured me that she could end it at any time and we agreed to move forward, trying to rebuild trust. However, more questionable incident occurred, leading me to take further action. I placed another recorder in the car and once again recorded her kissing a man. When I confronted her again, she claimed that my behavior she claimed that my behavior had made her anxious and she turned to him for emotional support. She reiterated that their relationship had gone beyond what I had heard and we discussed it in our counseling session. We agreed to move forward and rebuild trust in our relationship. However, my wife expressed her desire to have her own place, wanting to separate from me and the kids because she felt overwhelmed. I agreed to support her in making this happen. She went out the next night to stay in an Airbnb to have some time alone, and I respected her decision. While I was sitting in bed, trying to get our oldest child to sleep, I noticed that she had left her Apple Watch behind. My curiosity got the better of me, and I decided to check the messaging app on it. To my dismay, I discovered everything I had feared. They have been having an actual relationship for at least two weeks. She called him daddy and he referred to her as princess. They seemed obsessed with each other, constantly texting and saying things that made me feel uncomfortable. I saw pictures she had sent him, including intimate ones of herself and them lying together in bed. It became evident that the times I had trusted her before, she had lied to me about her whereabouts and with whom she was spending time. I even found evidence that she had bought him gift, including an Oculus for his birthday, and she was shopping for a BDSM collar for herself. As she was his submissive partner, I felt a mix of emotion, freedom from the uncertainty, but also turned down by the harsh reality. It was undeniable that she had been cheating on me and she had lied extensively, not only to me, but also to him. She had crafted an entirely new identity for herself, complete with a job and a decent income. She had a traumatic past that she was working through, but in this new life, she had no kids or husband. Of course, it all felt surreal. Now, I find myself in a difficult position. I want to protect my children and provide them with a stable home. I fear the idea of them experiencing a divorce as I did in my childhood. I also worry that if we were to divorce, my kids would have to know this man as their stepfather and spend time with him, which is especially concerning for my young daughters. I can no longer pretend that everything is okay and even hugging her makes me feel nauseous, especially when I see her interact with my children. When I was young, my parents got divorced. Recently, I managed to mend my relationship with my dad. After many years of him being absent from my life, I learned that my mom had been lying about my dad to keep him away from me. And now our relationship is improving. After discovering all the proof of infidelity that I needed, I couldn't bring myself to talk to my wife about what I had discovered because I knew she would lie about it. I had grown tired of dealing with the situation, so I decided to reach out to my dad, who had experienced a divorce before. On the phone, I broke down and told my dad everything that was going on. He became angry, not at me, but the fact that I was putting myself through all this pain. He offered to help and suggested that I should initiate a divorce as soon as possible. During our conversation, I shared my feelings about divorce and how it had affected me when I was a child. My dad explained to me that it would have been even worse for me if he had stayed in a loveless marriage with my mom as they were no longer compatible. I understood this perspective and agreed with him. I got in touch with a lawyer and began preparing for the right time to serve divorce papers to my wife. I started monitoring my wife's movement and at one point she told me she was taking the kids to a friend's house who also had children. However, instead of staying at her friend's house, she dropped off the kids there and I tracked her car to her house. 
that I didn't recognize. My dad was out of town, so I decided to handle the situation on my own. I went to the house where my wife had been spending time and knocked on the door. A man answered and asked who I was. I introduced myself and explained the lies my wife had been telling him. He was surprised and called my wife out. She appeared embarrassed when she showed up from inside his house and even had a BDSM collar on. My initial intention was to serve her with the divorce papers, but unexpectedly, the man asked her to leave his house and told me to take her home with me. I hesitated and told him that he should keep her there Why I served her the divorce papers. She stood there speechless. I had reached a breaking point with her. Later that evening, my dad came over and he helped me pack up her things. When my wife, who had been unfaithful, returned home, she even saw my dad and stepmom there, along with her belongings already packed. She called a friend to help her move her things. She had called me multiple times, asking for another chance in our marriage. But it was clear that I had given her one too many chances. The challenging part at the moment was how our divorce would affect our kids. My dad often dismissed my concerns by saying I was using my children as an excuse to stay in an abusive relationship. Unfortunately, I learned that the person she was having an affair with, whom she called daddy, had taken her back in. My worst fear was that my daughters would be in a household where their mom was treated as an ex-slave in a BDSM relationship. And this made me feel sick. I decided to push for full custody of the children, but it would be a challenging process because my soon-to-be ex-wife had always been a stay-at-home mom, even though I contributed to almost 60% of household chores despite my long hours at work. To my surprise, I found out that my state laws regarding divorce were not in my favor. Adultery would not affect her eligibility for alimony, and it would not necessarily prevent her from having custody of the children. Despite this, my wife had requested child support and alimony since our marriage has lasted for over 10 years and she had been a stay-at-home mom. The judge granted her child support, but he denied her request for alimony, stating that she should find a job as soon as she could. We are currently navigating our custody arrangement, but it still hurts me to think that my daughter would continue living in the current situation with my wayward wife and her affair partner, which I found to be unacceptable. Thank you for staying to the end of this story. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, let's get your reaction on the comment section. Thank you and have a wonderful day.